Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to my 31 Days of Horror in October. Sunday, October 30th, I watched Judgment Day. One day a year, all hell breaks loose. The story, enter if you dare, into a living nightmare of monstrously demonic proportions. Join Charlie and Pete, two young vacationers, as uninvited guests at a ghoulish ritual destined to last an eternity. The usually peaceful town of Santana has one hellish secret. Every year on the same day, Satan and his evil empire rise to the streets, wreaking destruction and torture on all who may fall in their path. Now that Charlie and Pete have unwittingly stumbled upon this ghastly celebration, Satan must determine their fate. You may heed all warnings, but nothing can prepare you for Judgment Day. My thoughts. I remember seeing Judgment Day back in the VHS rental days. It's a movie that just kind of always stuck with me. I never forgot about it. And I most definitely never forgot about this image of the devil right here on this VHS cover. Luckily, I was able to track down this fantastic VHS copy. After a little negotiation, I was able to add Judgment Day to my collection. Even though this VHS played flawlessly, I hope Judgment Day can someday get an updated wide release so more people can see this movie. I think one of the main things that I like about this movie is we have two very likable characters with Pete and Charlie. They're just two very likable guys in my opinion. It always helps any movie when you like the main characters. As this movie opens up, they are traveling across the Mexican countryside when their bus breaks down. They are persuaded by a mysterious woman cloaked in black to follow her to the nearest town, Santana. The town seems lively enough. The marketplace is flowing with people. Kids are even playing in the streets. You can tell that this is a very old town just simply based off the architecture. The town has a very unique look to it. But Pete and Charlie start to notice something very strange. The townspeople seem to be packing up and leaving. And it's not just a few people, it's everybody. Every single person is leaving the town. Pete and Charlie learn from a local bartender that the entire town is closing down, and by sundown, the town will be completely empty, and they are warned they should leave themselves. If they are not out of the town by sundown, they will be trapped and unable to leave for a full day. They learn that many years in the past, the town was sick and dying from the plague. So the townspeople made a deal with the devil to be freed from their suffering. In turn, one day a year, the devil is free to roam the streets of Santana. He enslaves and tortures and sets judgment on anyone who remains in the town. Of course, circumstances happen that cause Pete and Charlie to be trapped in the town. At nighttime, Santana becomes hell on earth. Chanting hooded figures walk the streets, lashing away with their whips at chained, helpless victims, marching them straight to the devil himself. This movie has some amazing gothic atmosphere. Santana was neat to look at during the day, but at night, it truly looks like what I envision hell to look like. On top of having some truly amazing atmosphere, I really enjoyed following these characters through this storyline, and I absolutely love the ending to this movie. I'm going to give Judgment Day a 8 out of 10, so please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Judgment Day, or just let me know what you think about my review. And as always, I would like to thank you all for watching.